Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be making a dish called Kuku Paku which is a simple chicken curry which comes from the African country of Kenya and I'm really looking forward to making it. It's very very simple but um, I think we're going to get a really nice delicious dish or not too much effort. Now in saying that I've slightly decided to complicate <laughs> it a little bit because the recipe calls for us to use curry powder and I've decided to try and make a more I guess East African style curry powder myself so I'm going to do that first quickly it's not much effort but if you prefer um, you can just substitute any pre-made um, mild curry it needs to be like a mild curry not a too spicy strong one and um, I'm making a bit of this. I won't need all of this um, for this one dish, but I might as well make like a, a little bit more for my pantry. All right, so in my Kenyan curry powder, I've got a teaspoon of fennel seeds, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a teaspoon of coriander seeds, a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, a few cardamom pods and I've got half a cinnamon quill. Now, I think traditionally this curry powder, like I say, isn't too spicy, but I can't help myself. I'm just gonna throw in one dry red chili. <laughs> and that won't make it too spicy, but just a little bit of a back note. All right, so I'm gonna roast those first. Let's get them. Let's get on with it. And speaking of Kenya, I just want to give a big shout out to my Asweto, Sharon, Nakupendu, Sana, Abibo. So, as you saw, I just waited till those spices got all smoky. I've just transferred them into my spice grinder here. Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to make myself a paste. I've got my processor here ready to go. Now I'm going to start with just two tomatoes I've just roughly chopped up. I've got one green chili. It's a fairly mild one. I've got one whoop, brown onion, again just roughly chopped. Got a big knob of ginger. I'm just cutting the chunks, and that goes. I've got a heap tablespoon of that uh, spice roasted spice mix I've just made, and that goes. Now in this one, I've got a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of sugar. And that'll do us. We'll see if there's enough fluid in those tomatoes and onions. Not have to add any water. See how we go. Alrighty guys, now next here I've got my chicken. Um, I've got about one pound of skinless um, thigh fillets, which I've just cut basically sort of in half, but the bigger side, I don't know if you can see there, I've sort of scored them a bit. And I'm just gonna put them in a bowl here. Like so. I'm going to get that paste we made, and I'm going to get about half of it into my chicken. Don't worry, we're going to be using all of it, but 
just for now. And I'm gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna rub that paste into the chicken there. Obviously with clean hands and of course I'll wash my hands straight after so we don't get food poisoning on anything. And this doesn't need a long marinade. I'm just gonna leave that for half an hour or so. Cover it and just leave it. All right, I'll see you shortly. Alrighty, let's um, yeah, start doing some actual cooking. So I've just got about a tablespoon and a half of vegetable oil in my uh, wok there. I've just got one onion, another onion, and I'm just going to give that a little bit of a fry off. So once our onions have been sautéing there for a minute or two, they're just starting to change colour and soften. I'm going to get my chicken that's been marinating. And I'm going to grab each piece, just give it a bit of a shake. Shake it off that excess marinade, but don't have to be too strict with it. And get them in there. And we'll just fry that off for a bit. Don't throw away even that marinade bit of um, paste because we'll throw that in as well in a minute. So yeah, we'll just give that a fry off for four or five minutes. Now once that chicken's been frying for a few minutes, I'm going to add the rest of my marinade. So that's the one that was, sorry, the excess marinade. And also the other half of the paste that we didn't use. I'm just going to keep letting that cook. I want to let that paste cook a bit, as well as let that chicken cook a little bit longer. Alrighty guys, so my paste and chicken there has been cooking out for about 15 minutes. Um, I've stirred it a bit, not too much. Next thing I'm going to add now is some coconut milk. Now I've got here, this is a 400 ml can. I only want to use about half of that. So yeah, about 200 ml. And then as soon as that comes to a boil again, I'm just going to um, 
let it simmer just for another um, maybe 10 minutes but I'll put the lid on for that just make, make sure you scrape the bottom in case any of that paste was starting to stick there it's, it's looking pretty good man this smells good I've got to tell you Or, as I say in Kenya, wazuri. Smells wazuri. Alrighty guys, so I've just served up a plate of my Kuku Paku, my uh, Kenyan um, chicken curry with coconut. Um, yeah, it just looks like a standard curry at the moment. Well, I've just served it with some rice, plenty of nice big bits of chicken in there, waiting to be tasted. So um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention during the video, why well, I didn't capture it on video, is after I um, added the coconut milk and let it simmer for a little while, I did taste for seasoning and I did add some salt to taste. So, um, yeah, apologies I missed that on video, just don't forget to do that. Uh, yeah, so let's give it a taste. I'll get one of my bits of chicken, give it a bite. good mm -mm, um, sour Missouri uh, it is indeed good uh, very very tasty very very yum yummy as you saw very simple to make and um, yeah I hope you give it a try so thanks to everyone for watching this one Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Um, you guys are awesome. Really, really, um, yeah, I'm really humbled. The subscriptions just tick over really slowly, but that doesn't matter. I value each and every, every one of you. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask you to hit that subscription button? It helps my channel out no end. It doesn't cost you anything. No obligation on your part to do anything. It just, um, yeah, it gives my channel a boost. Alrighty, I will see you all next time.